Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today is going to be an interesting video. I am very excited to try this Flawless Brows tool. So this is a finishing touch flawless brows and it removes hair instantly and pain free. Why do I feel like it's not gonna be pain free? <laughs> I feel like it may hurt. I don't know. This is a tool for perfect eyebrows. It is 18 karat gold plated, which sounds fancy. I don't really know why that's necessary, but okay, I'll take that. It's gentle on all skin types. It has a built-in light, which lets you see even the finest hairs, battery included. I like it when batteries are included. Like why do things come without the battery if it needs a battery? Like don't be that way. So. Thank you for Flawless Brows for giving me that battery. And then on the back here, again, 18 gold plated. It has a precision tip to remove hair around brows and maintain shape. Perfectly balanced for ultimate control. Okay, all right, all right. And honestly, like, I just don't really understand, like, how does it remove the hairs? Does it pull it or does it cut it? Like, I'm not fully sure what that means. I rarely pluck my eyebrows. <laughs> kind of a funny story time is I don't really pluck my brows because I'm a little bit scarred from the past. I think I'm just terrified of over plucking. I think you guys already know I am a girl that is all about the fluffy full eyebrows. So I kind of just let them grow in and do its thing. And one time I want to say was this like junior high or high school or something like that? This was when like threading kind of became a big deal near my area. I grew up in Santa Rosa and this like threading station opened up in our downtown mall and my sister Wandy and I were walking around and she was like, I'm so interested with this threading in and she's like, I'll pay for you if you get your eyebrows threaded. And I was like, um, no. And even at a young age, I knew that I didn't want my eyebrows over plucked. I think from my sisters and my mom and stuff like that, I was like, I learned that I didn't want to over pluck my brows. I was like, I don't want my eyebrows too thin or anything. And she's like, okay, well, why don't you just do the middle and like your forehead or something like that just to see how it feels. And so I was like, fine, let's do it. And so I sat down to get threaded and I told the girl, I was like, do not touch my brows. I just want you to like clean up my forehead. I kind of have a, a furry forehead. I'm sure you guys can tell. Like, I don't want you to shape my brows. And you know how like threading is kind of hard to tell like where the pain is coming from. And she was just doing her thing. And I was like, okay, sure. It's happening. It's happening. I'm not really sure. It's painful. I don't really know where she's taking the hair from. And then she was done and I looked at myself in the mirror and I started crying. She stole my eyebrows. She stole them. And I specifically told her I didn't want her to touch my brows. I don't know why she didn't understand that. But anyway, they grew back. Thankfully, that girl is lucky I would have sued her for stealing my brows, but we're all good. They came back. But anyway, I think ever since then, I was like, no one touched my brows. I barely pluck them myself, but I do think I definitely need a little bit of cleaning underneath and in the middle for sure. And I wonder if this tool also works for the mustache area because she getting a little furry over here too. And so I usually just use one of those little beauty razors to kind of like shave off this little area. I don't think that that is necessarily the best route to go. You know, you gotta do what you gotta do. So we will see if this works for the brows and maybe for my lip. And then I just wanna know like how this works. Does it cut? Does it pull? Is it painless? I don't know. Okay, so inside it comes with some instructions of how to install the battery. So let me put the battery in real quick. So here's the tool. This part slides off and then the battery goes in here. Comes with the battery, thank you. And it's kinda cute. The battery is also like rose gold, so it like matches the device. Okay, so putting this cover back. Ah! Oh my God, that scared me. <laughs> ah, I turned it on already, hold on. Oh, that scared me. <laughs> Okay, scared myself a little bit. Didn't wanna, didn't wanna die there. Okay, so this little gold switch goes up and that's what turns it on. And you see how it's like lit up at the tip there to help 
you see, I guess. <laughs> that was, that was terrifying. It, it got me, it got me. It says to use on clean, dry skin, pull skin tight and move in small back and forth motions. Okay, so my skin, obviously I got a little bit of makeup on. I'm very light, I don't have any foundation on, so maybe, you know, it's fine, it's fine. Pull skin tight and move in small back and forth motions. If unit begins to slow down, clean head of hair residue. If unit is still running slowly, change battery. It is normal for skin to appear red immediately after use due to pressure and friction applied. Okay. After each use, clean head with brush included. It comes with this little brushy guy to clean the head of it. It says for tips and tricks, I can visit the flawlessbeauty.com website. Okay, let's find the how-to videos. First precision hair remover that instantly and painlessly sweeps away unwanted brow hair in the comfort of your own home. Hold it like a pencil. Use it like an eraser. I see a hair that I don't want and I'm able to erase it. Because inside Flawless Brow's precision hair removal tip is the finest engineered technology that erases unwanted hair with micro precision. Perfectly balanced for perfect control between the brows above below, even toward the hairline. And with an 18 karat gold plated head, it's hypoallergenic and gentle on all skin types. This was just so easy, so painless. It just erases the hair away. Flawless Brows is the fastest, easiest, pain-free way to have beautiful brows every day. Okay, that sounds amazing. All of that sounds amazing. They said to hold it like a pencil and then erase the hairs away that sounds easy enough and i don't feel as bad because some of those women in the video clearly had makeup on and they were using the tools so you know it's fine i'm trying it out on my hand and yeah it doesn't hurt or anything so let's give this a try i'm gonna try my my uni brow should we bring you guys cl closer huh oh we up nice and close now we up nice and close <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna turn her on. So you just push it up and it's lit up. And I'm gonna see if I can get rid of some of these unibrow hairs. Oh my gosh, okay. So I'm like erasing away the hairs. It must be, ooh, I don't wanna like get too close to my brow, but it is cleaning up. Okay, it didn't hurt at all. I don't want to get too close to my actual brows. I don't want to get a bald spot or anything. But I want to get some of these rogue hairs down here. Some of my hairs are a little long, so it's a little bit harder. So I feel like the middle hairs were easier to get because they were a little thicker and shorter. And so it was able to slip into these little cracks and holes into this device. And I think it's cutting them in here. But then because of my brow hairs here are actually kind of long, it wasn't really slipping in to the little holes in here, if that makes sense. And honestly, if you can tell, like I obviously draw in my brows, but there's a lot of cleaning up I need to do because I just, I don't really touch them up or anything. But let's see if it works on my mustache here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes, girl. <gasps> it's working. Wow, it totally worked. And so I don't want to completely shave everything off of my mustache. I feel like this area right here are always like my longer, more darker hairs. I do want to leave some of this peach fuzz here. I don't want to go completely bald up there. So that's why I kind of focused on here. Yep, it took care of all of those little hairs and it seriously was painless. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm going to clean up my forehead a little bit. While I'm here, I'm like, what else can I clean up here? Okay, okay. 
Okay, so I see a little bit of fuzz on here, but nothing too crazy. So I'll just clean it off a little bit. It worked really well. Okay, pleasantly surprised. Okay, I'm gonna push you guys back a little bit for our final thoughts on this. All right, you guys, so I must say I am pretty excited about this. I had no idea what to expect and I honestly did not have a lot of faith in it. I don't know, like sometimes these tools, like it kind of gives me that like as seen on TV vibes a little bit. I just found this on Amazon and I think it is $19.99 or something. I'll be sure to link it for you guys below. I just like didn't know if it was actually going to be painful because it was going to be pulling the hairs, like suctioning and pulling them out. I think what it is is that it has these little holes and openings right here. And then so when you are doing this erasing motion, your little hairs kind of get caught in there and then I think that there's a little blade that must spin around and it'll it cuts off the hair and it really is painless but I think it's a good tip from that video on their website is to hold it just like a pencil and then kind of do these little erasing motions and it really did erase the hairs away it's like okay look at you doing what you say you're gonna do I like that follow through <laughs> what I will definitely continue using this for because Mama has some issues with a little bit of her mustache and then the unibrow a little bit. And so I will continue to use it for that. And why it works for that is because the hairs are a little bit thicker and shorter because I often pluck this area and I often use like a beauty razor to like shave that area lightly. This one was so much easier to use and like less scary than like using a beauty razor, you know, coming at your face. And I feel like my hairs were a little bit thicker, a little bit shorter, so they kind of like poke out more. So that's why the little hairs would go into this little tip right here. It didn't work as well on my eyebrow area just because I think some of my hairs are just so long and thin, it couldn't, I couldn't get it to slip in to the tip. It will definitely work if you're a person that touches up your eyebrows a lot with plucking or maybe between like waxing appointments. I know with everything going on with the pandemic, it's hard to keep up with all of your appointments and stuff like that. So this is a really cool way to be like touching up. It is cutting the hair, so it's not like plucking or waxing. So you might have to do this more often in between because it won't last as long as waxing. This is a very good touch up tool and I think it will work for a lot of ladies. I will absolutely continue to use this for my unibrow and my mustache area, but highly recommend giving this a shot if you wanna touch up your brows or any of those areas too. This absolutely works and Highly recommend giving this a try to touch up between your appointments and whatnot. Awesome, well thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I am pleasantly surprised. I am pleasantly surprised and here for this and I will continue to use it. As always, I'll be sure to link this in the description box below so you can check out yourself. Let me know if you have any questions in the comment section. And please, before you go, please be sure to subscribe to my channel and ring that notification bell so you are notified when I post my next video. As always, thank you guys so much for your support. Please be sure to take care of yourselves and each other and I will see you guys next week. Bye.